Hi, my name is Dr. John Duyard, and I want to talk to you today about how to know your child. A few years ago, I was teaching at a private school, introducing some of the principles from my Body Mind Sport book about how to, how to direct children to a sport that was more suited to their body type. You know, the President's Council of Fitness really tests kids on one standard. If you're not that body type, you don't do well. A Lewis Harris poll showed that 50% of American kids experienced their first major failure in life as a sports failure. I mean, kids know that because when they climb the ropes, it's a public humiliation. Kids would rather go to the dentist or go to an orthodontic appointment than go to gym class. Kids, in many cases, are scared to death to go to class. Well, this was, I really believe, unacceptable. I think every one of us has an athlete inside of us and we have to kind of dig it out. So this one girl, her name was Sharon, she was asked to run the mile under 10 minutes to pass the class, which is required. 50% of school age girls can't do this, but she was asked to do it anyway. She trained hard for it and she finished in 11 minutes and 30 seconds and failed the class and came to me with tears in her eyes and said, would you please write me a note so I never have to go to gym class again. And I said, boy, I, I don't think I can really do that, but I'm here to help your coach and your uh, PE teacher kind of help direct you to a sport that might be more suited to your body type. Fast forward six months later, I'm there uh, at, back at the school and I see this little girl again. She come up, comes up to me with a big smile on her face and she tells me, true story, she says, I just came back from the regional championships as a race walker. Race walking is for certain body types. She was not the fastest kid. She's bigger, solid, heavier set. She could walk forever. She had great endurance, but not great speed. She went as a race walker, and all of a sudden, she became an athlete. She said to me, even more, something more amazing. She said, and I just joined the basketball team. And I was like, what? And she goes, yeah, the little Vata kids who are quick and fast and skinnier, and the Pitta kids who are aggressive and can move real fast and dribble. She goes, they pass the ball and dribble. I get rebounds. So she had all of a sudden on a basketball team, those other kids would pass the ball and, get, and, and dribble, but I get rebounds. All of a sudden there was a place for her on a sports field in a gym with a basketball in her hand. And that's something that's so critically important that we know who our child is. In the article associated with this video, I go into some detail about the three basic Ayurvedic types. On my website at lifespot.com, you can take a body type questionnaire, a free questionnaire. It's interactive. It tells you who you are, and you can do it with your kids and your family. It's fun, and it's great because I give you the profiles of your child. You get to see what the emotional profile of your child is, what the behavioral profile is and of course what their mental profile is so you get to get them of course their fitness and physical is there too but that's but which are all, all important and you get a grand total of their overall body type but what I love about my questionnaire is that you can look in the details and get to see hey why is my kid not studying why is my kid really you know kind of nervous or forgetful or you know why do they get lost in in uh, dreamland, for example, which a lot of them seem to do. This is understood by the emotional, mental, and physical and behavioral profiles that we go through in our body type. Definitely check it out on the website. You know, there's three basic types. There's vata, which is really like, means air. It's cold and dry, like winter is cold and dry. So these kids are thinner. They get cold easy. Their skin is more dry. They may be more constipated, but mentally they're creative. They're artistic. They're thinking of you know, design and, and they're uh, extremely passionate, very, very sensitive, but they're not really competitive. They're not driven to take the, uh, to beat another person. The Pitta kids, the fiery summer kids who have a lot of heat in their body, Pitta means fire, they are more competitive and they're more driven and they have to be careful not to be overly competitive. There can be the perfectionistic kids who push themselves so hard that they literally burn out. You have to be careful and understand those kids and direct them towards activities that are kind of sometimes, you know, uh, they do better on teams because it's not just only about them in school, academically, on the field. You give them some teams to pass along some of the responsibility it helps them soften their intensity. Uh, and then of course there's the Kafa kids, Sharon, my story, she was a Kafa child, big, heavy set, easygoing, mellow, happy, go lucky, loves life, loves people, 
but also very sensitive and one that can get easily hurt feelings and also needs movement. Their body type is what we like to call hypometabolic. They're slow metabolically, so they need physical activity. So they really do need the exercise. So for her to get kind of, kind of uh, a bad uh, attitude towards exercise is really detrimental to her type because she truly needs the exercise to stay healthy. And if they don't get the exercise, they don't move, they get congested, they get heavy, they gain weight, and they can even get uh, melancholy or depressed and that's not a good, um, a good way for them to go through life or start their life. So please go to my website at lifespot.com, take the body type uh, questionnaire with your family and get to know who your children are. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Biard.